The question has to be asked whether this is expedience or stability which President Macron is enforcing. Uh, his decision to retain Gabriel Attal as Prime Minister amid the political deadlock in the National Assembly reflects a strategic move, a political move to maintain stability, or at least that is the language which is being used. Stability is the language being used, but the question really is, is this to block the left as much as it is to block the far right in France during this um, upheaval, this political upheaval, this political maelstrom? Um, the um, Ma Macron's uh, own political group performed better than expected in the second election, but the left-wing new popular front emerged as the largest coalition. Despite this, uh, that group doesn't have enough MPs to form a real majority, making the formation of a stable government challenging. And as a result, there's political deadlock with no single party or coalition holding a majority. And it's, you know, the, the, the left is not going to form a coalition with people on the right, nor are they going to form a coalition with people in the centre. And the situation necessitates careful negotiation, coalition building, which takes time. So there may be a... Uh, a prime minister in waiting who will emerge over the next month or so. But we're entering the summer. Not much happens in the summer. I don't think we'll see very much before we get into the autumn, maybe even the late autumn. Uh, Macron is facing urgent and international responsibilities, including an upcoming NATO summit in the United States and keeping Atal, who has shown readiness and ability to continue despite being very young, uh, provides continuity, if not stability. It avoids the distraction of appointing a new prime minister at a critical time when there is political upheaval throughout Europe and when there is threat from immediately outside Europe from Russia. And uh, the finance mi uh, minister, Bruno Le Maire, has warned of a potential financial crisis and economic decline if the political impasse continues. So maintaining a steady hand in government now uh, helps to address those economic challenges. Uh, the left wing is pushing for an opportunity to form a government, uh, citing their election victory. But Macron's camp uh, has put forward this alternative um, indicating uh, Gerard uh, Darmanian's uh, engagement with centrist uh, parliamentarians. This, uh, th this suggests manoeuvres which um, within Macron's own party to navigate the current political landscape. And conventionally, the prime minister is appointed from the largest parliamentary group, but he is appointed or she is appointed, and it's Macron's decision. And so Macron's decision to keep Atal in place reflects a pragmatism and quite a clever, quite a canny pragmatism uh, to manage the current instability. But it's temporary and it's strategic and it's wily. But whether or not it can, it can ensure stability in the long term, of course it can't. Um, but it may just keep the it may just keep the lights on for a little longer as chaos bubbles beneath the surface. I don't know why I'm smiling at that. I mean, it's, it's not good news, but um, it's not good news for the democratic system. It's not good news for France. It's not good news for the left, for the right. It's uncertainty. It's limbo. Um, but it's a limbo with a, with a little bit of elan. Um, there's, there, there's something rather graceful about it um and we and we haven't seen that level of grace in politics for quite a while uh we certainly haven't seen it in the uk for a long time um so it is quite nice to have a demonstration of civilized behavior from across the channel